Ron. Okay, uh, here's a pole spear video. This is the um, 5000 series poles. It's basically uh, the same as what I've been making, but we're getting away from example here. I'm getting away from the front pole having a thread on it from the 6 millimeter to 8 millimeter to 3 eighths to 5 sixteenths to blah blah half inch. You guys have been um, buying my tip and other tips and then what you'll do is you'll screw it on and you won't screw it all the way to the bottom and even if you do you forget the Teflon tape you know the deal. Then the thing walks it way up then you shoot some big fish and you bend the you bend the male thread here because you don't have the strength unless it's seated all the way. And uh, then we got to replace this and send the pole back and yada yada. So I'm trying to get away from that. It seems the guys with the 6 millimeter, which is the weaker thread, tend to make sure their stuff's solid and don't really have as much trouble as the guys with the 8 and the 5 16 etc. So what I'm going to do is uh, we're going to get rid of that. And you're going to have... You can have your tip. Okay, we'll do the shorter tip because it's easier. So here's your grip, and your front is a pole spear joint with the O-ring. Now you don't have no Teflon tape. You don't have to have a little wrench. You don't have to do all those things. Just take your tip and screw it on. Snug it up, just like you do the other joints. And they got the neural there so you can get a grip on it. Don't hurt your little girly hands. And now you're done. It's not going to come apart. You don't have to check it. You're set. You want to undo it. Because you got tired of missing everything in the reef. And you're out. You put one of the longer tips. So you put your flopper on. You snap that one on here. You're ready to go. Oh, you don't want to do that. Take that off. Throw it in your bag. And then if this was your uh, slip tip, you can screw that one on. Or whatever you want to do. Um, so anyway, hopefully you're not going to be, the guys aren't going to be breaking as much stuff. It'll be easier in the boat. You don't have to think as much and you can just focus on fishing and having a good time. You can screw the, the tips on all the different poles and drop sections out. Here's the back side where you have your rubber. So you could screw this one on. Oop, here. I'll try to keep it in the camera here. You can screw this one on here. Now you got a six inch and a two foot pole, so you got a two and a half foot pole with the tip. Or you can put another section in, half four foot with the tip. You can take these two foot sections and put those in front. That's the wrong pole. Put that in front of the grip so that your tip's farther out in front of you, where you for the fish more spooky or whatever. But you can, anyway, you can you can mix and match and put it together any way you want. So, and you got more options. More flexibility. You just got to think about your rubbers and what length and draw you want for power and all that kind of stuff for all the different setups. Um, okay, uh, I think that helped explain it. This is going to be the 5000 series. All these tips with the pole mounted to the tips, you don't have to mess with it. These are going to be the 3300 series. Some are going to have longer. I'll have. Uh, one foot sections on some of them and I'll actually put a grip in here so that gives you another option for uh, the shorter pole lengths I think that works pretty good for lionfish where you can just add a six inch or a nine inch tip and a foot and um, and you're ready to go and you can not use the other bigger grip you can just screw it right on the back side for the two foot but I got foot and a half sections and three foot sections and too many options but that everybody likes options okay I think uh, that about covers it um, okay have fun hope this uh, helps uh, explain uh, what I'm what I what my changes were here okay